Hi, this is David at Wasabi. I wanted to take a few minutes to discuss with you why Wasabi Hot Cloud Storage is the right place to put your Microsoft 365 backups. We've had a lot of discussions recently with organizations that didn't realize their Microsoft data wasn't truly backed up. 365 has some good retention features that allow you to protect some data from loss, but they're not intended to be a complete backup solution. If you are one of the organizations that are just not realizing this, you're not alone. A recent IDC study showed that about 60% of Office 365 users don't have a backup plan. O365 features like archive and litigation hold are often mistaken as backup features, but they're not. Archive moves data from one location to another location, but it doesn't actually copy the data. If the data is deleted or moved to the recycling bin, you have about 30 days in most cases to fish it out of the trash before it's gone for good. If an employee leaves the company and their data is usually gone after about a month, litigation hold puts a hold on content for a specific amount of time, but that's not a backup either. Putting a litigation hold on everything will keep every change and every version of everything and auto expand your contracted storage, which will grow into an expensive nightmare to manage. So people that want to protect their 365 data from accidental deletions or for legal or compliance reasons or to protect themselves from malware, viruses, or ransomware are using backup solutions like Veeam's backup for Office 365. I'm a big fan of VBO. It's been around since 2016, and it's been installed by about 100,000 businesses worldwide, and it protects about 10 million mailboxes. Veeam has a lot of experience with backing up Office 365. But one of the reasons why I like it the most is because it gives users the option of using object storage as their backup repository. You can choose on-prem object storage as a backup location, but frankly, if you're already committed to using software as a service and other cloud services, do you really want to take a step backwards and return to the days of managing on-prem equipment, managing their software releases and bug fixes, power and cooling, racking and stacking the equipment, depreciation cycles and technology refreshes? Probably not, most people don't. Backing up Microsoft 365 to on-prem storage is counterproductive. Like I said, VBO gives you choices. Your cloud options include AWS, Azure, IBM, and of course, Wasabi. If you're even the slightest bit familiar with Wasabi, you know that we pride ourselves on being less complex and significantly less expensive than AWS, Azure, and the others. With Wasabi, if you know what your cloud storage capacity is, you'll know exactly what your cloud storage bill will be. If you know the amount of storage you need, you'll be able to predict exactly what your cost is gonna be. When comparing the cost of Wasabi to AWS and Azure, it's important to look beyond just the initial per gigabit price per month of the storage itself. And this is because these other guys give you charges that will significantly increase the cost and unpredictability of the storage. Because AWS and Azure charge you for every API request, you need to somehow figure out how many puts and copies and gets and lists that uh, your Office 365 backup will generate. The total number of requests are gonna vary widely depending on the reading and writing activity of your VBO. So with AWS and Azure, surprise bills are gonna be fairly common. When you factor in all the egress and retrieval fees from any data you take out of AWS and Azure, the total monthly cost is often going to be much higher than you anticipate. Nobody seems to know what their AWS or Azure bill is going to be for Veeam backups, and this is going to happen on a month-to-month -month basis. I can tell you CFOs don't like to have radically unpredictable costs. It's bad for business. Veeam backup for Office 365 and Wasabi are better together because there's absolutely no cloud lock-in. Veeam achieves this with their free community edition it allows you to recover your VBO backups from the cloud if your license lapses. And because Wasabi doesn't charge customers for data retrieval and egress, your data is never held hostage. Veeam's data block design allows data to be written and rapidly restored at the highest levels of performance. And all backups are encrypted in flight between Veeam and Wasabi and while they're stored in Wasabi. We offer the lowest and the most predictable pricing. In fact, Veeam's license structure aligns with your O365 consumption so VBO is available in one, three, and five year terms. Only Wasabi gives you the option to also pay up front in one, three, and five year terms that match your 365 and your VBO licenses. 
no credit cards, no monthly billings are needed because unlike Azure, there's no incidental charges for API requests and data egress. There's no additional charges. So it's a great idea to back up your Microsoft 365 data. And if you need storage for the backups, there's no better solution than Wasabi Hot Cloud Storage. We're the easiest to understand and use, we're the least expensive, there are no hidden charges, and there's no egress fees. In fact, if you want to match your one, three, or five-year license options with 365 and VBO, Wasabi can do the same with our reserved capacity storage. For more information, visit us at wasabi.com. I'm David Boland at Wasabi. Thank you.